Okay, today I'd like to show you how to download Google Chrome web browser onto your desktop. It's actually pretty simple. So let's go ahead and uh, just open up whatever your current web browser may be. I have two screens here, so I had to pull that over. So I'm currently using Internet Explorer. So up here, let's go ahead and uh, type in google.com. Once you're on the Google page, just go ahead and hit Google Chrome download. And you'll see pretty much everything right up on top here. I just clicked the very top one. Once you open up to this page, go ahead and hit download Chrome. These are all the terms and conditions if you feel like reading all through that fun stuff. And once you accepted it, just go ahead and click accept and install. And I'll hit yes. Your computer may or may not have that pop up. It's just a security feature I have on my Windows 7 I'm currently using. And Google Chrome works also really good with Apple and they do have a version on that one too. Now depending on how fast it installs, depending on your internet speed, um, I have super fast internet so it installed really quick where if you are on a phone line or something it could take an hour to install so it just depends on your internet there. So once it's all installed, so click next to choose your default browser. So your default browser is basically there's times when you're going to click on say a link and you can either depend on what you have downloaded. I have Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome. So you could just pick either of these three. I'm just going to keep it on Internet Explorer for now. Now it's going to come up with this page like you got to sign in or create an account and to me that's your personal choice. Um, to me, I don't think you need to bother with that. So what you do is just come up here and let's exit off that window. Now we're actually on Google Chrome itself. And here's a little introductory video if you want to watch on how to use it. But let's just go ahead and try it out. Let's just go ahead and type in, say, YouTube.com. Just make sure everything's working good. And it looks like everything's working really good. So this is actually a cool little search engine. And it does have a lot of options. You can actually customize a lot of stuff up here. See this little three bars up to the upper right? You can just click that. And you can deal with bookmarks. And you can edit, zoom. All your little tools, downloads, and everything would be off of here. So that's good to know that little information. And if there's a page you really like, all you got to do is hit the star. And this one says YouTube. You can actually click on it and customize it if you want to add, say, YouTube homepage, if you want to type homepage on the end of it. It's up to you. You could do whatever on that. And then once you do that, you just hit done. And this is actually will be on your favorites. So are your bookmarks. So here's what you do. If you want to try to find a bookmark that you a page you like, you just click there. Just kind of come down to bookmarks. And there it is, YouTube right there. You can click on that and it'll just take it right back to the YouTube page. So anyways, I hope this video really helped you. And if it did, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you have any questions, definitely feel free to ask. You have yourself a really good day.